Hey, how's it going? It's Russell James at The Raw Chef. Welcome to this video, chopped Asian salad with a peanut sauce. This is actually second in a mini series showing you how to eat one full day of raw food. If you missed the first video, wherever you're seeing this one, we'll link it uh, on the page. Uh, we did a, an ambrosia breakfast bowl for breakfast. And so yeah, lunch, let's get into it. Asian salad with peanut sauce. All right, so we're gonna start with the uh, in the Vitamix with this. So peanut butter, if you don't wanna eat peanuts, I know some people are concerned about the aflatoxins in peanuts, and obviously there's allergies out there as well. Uh, you could use a, uh, an, another nut butter, or even a seed butter. You could use sunflower seed butter uh, in a pinch. Or I would suggest if you could do almond butter, that would be really, really nice as well. We're gonna follow that up with some peeled ginger. Then we've got some lime juice tamari and some salt. Now you can follow the recipe on this, tamari is salty as well, so you might just need to taste and season to taste it. If you're a bit sensitive to salt, uh, you can always uh, leave it out and just add it in at the end as you're tasting it. All right, let's get that blended. Blend that up nice and smooth. You shouldn't need the tamper for this. If it's too thick, we're just gonna add a little bit of water because you know, depending on which variety of nut or seed butter you're using, they come in different consistencies. So if you've got quite a watery one, and it's quite watery anyway, then you're not gonna need to add all of the water in the recipe. So just do a little bit, get it to the consistency you can see on the video here and then go from there. All right, then we're also gonna add a little bit of maple syrup. This is optional if you want it a little bit sweeter. We're gonna blend in some spring onion or green onion and also some coriander. Now we're just gonna pulse that in. We don't wanna break it down completely. We still want chunks of that in the sauce. Okay, so now for the veggies for the actual um, salad itself. Baby corn is really nice. You notice how we're chopping this on a bias to give us a nice shape to the vegetables. Same with some spring onions or green onions. Then you wanna get a nice, good ripe avocado. This was obviously a good avocado day for us. Some small fine um, bird's eye chili would be really fantastic and authentic for this dish. Chop that really finely. Then we're gonna take some segments of lime and if you notice how we're chopping this, we're cutting around the stalk or the center area so we get these nice good looking pieces of lime because presentation is everything. Even if it's just for your own meal, you know, taking some pride in it and making it look good. And I'm sure if this is your first full day of raw food eating, then you're gonna be excited and wanna take real pride in this and really kind of immerse yourself in the experience. Other items in the salad, we've got some radicchio here and then we've got some shiitake mushrooms too. And we're gonna take the stalk out of the shiitake mushrooms because it can be a little bit tough. Get rid of that and then we're gonna slice the shiitake uh, lengthways, I guess anyway is lengthways if they're round. <laughs> slice them up and down, get nice long strips. And we're gonna marinate those. So we're gonna need a bowl, some tamari in there, a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I love apple cider vinegar with mushrooms. It's not necessarily something you'd automatically think of, right? But uh, just goes really nicely together. A little bit of olive oil in there, and we're gonna add some of those slices of chili too. Get that whisked up, and then you're gonna throw your shiitake mushrooms, whether you did them in chunks or whether you did them in strips, it's totally fine. Um, and then you'll probably find you want to also chuck some spring onion in here as well. All right, so we're gonna leave those to marinate. They don't take long because they're nice and fibrous and porous and they're gonna suck up all of that marinade pretty quickly. So we're gonna work on our spinach. We've got a, a nice bowl of uh, raw spinach here. Get some salt in there. And then we're gonna massage that by hand, breaking it down so it takes on like a, a cooked texture. Optional, but throw a few chilies in there if you like spice. And once that's broken down, we don't wanna break it down completely, but once it's wilted down really nicely, just like it's been steamed lightly, then we're gonna throw over some of that sauce. Now, don't put all of the sauce in because we don't wanna make this too wet and sloppy. We just want it to be um, just dressed just the right amount. All right, so now now we're ready to plate. So take your bowl, get some of that spinach in there to start off. Dress that with some of that beautiful avocado that you sliced. Hopefully uh, you got a nice ripe avocado, sliced it nice and evenly. Round the edge looks great. Then we're gonna take some of that radicchio, round the edge, radicchio or chicory is really nice. Sprinkle some of the remaining spring onions on there and then sprinkle also some of your remaining chili over the top. Arrange those sliced baby corn on the side there as well. And then top with those beautiful, amazing marinated shiitake mushrooms. If you've never tried these before, they're so simple, um, but so, so delicious. Squeeze of lime over the top, maybe. Um, maybe a couple of pieces of extra lime there for, uh, for serving, whether it's for you or you and someone else. And then we're gonna finish it all off by topping it with some uh, sesame seeds. Look at that, what a beautiful, beautiful lunch. And I think you'll agree, not too crazy, right? Not too time intensive. I know raw food's got a bit of a, um, a reputation for being all about dehydrated stuff and soaked stuff, and it takes weeks and days to, to make even one thing, right? But it doesn't always have to be like that. And not, not uh, everyone who eats raw food is like dehydrating pizza bases 
for 24 hours at a time and, and taking this long winded approach to it. It can be really, really simple. And that's what we've tried to create for you with this one day of raw food eating. So two meals down, we're feeling good. Again, make sure that you're eating enough. If you're still hungry, eat another portion. Um, you know, none of these foods really are calorific. I know there's some calories and some fat in the in the dressing, but we're really not using a whole lot of it. So, um, you know, we're really just eating fruits and veggies here. So help yourself to more, eat as much as you would like to, see how you feel, and I think you're really uh, gonna start to feel good. You might start to experience some detox symptoms as well, especially around lunchtime, especially if you're used to eating or drinking stimulants, right? If you're, if you're also giving up coffee or black tea or even green tea or even chocolate, actually, any of those stimulating foods, when you come off of them, I'm sure you've experienced before you can get headaches. So you might start experiencing those just make sure that you are drinking plenty of water and uh, and if you want a nap take a nap there's lots of studies that show that napping is really healthy and really helpful as well um, even on a regular basis not just when you're doing like a one day cleansing raw food program so hopefully you're enjoying yourself uh, let's check out get to the next video which is going to be uh, we've got a real treat for you for dinner